What's up, boys and girls? Uh, this is Tweety. We're playing uh, Feed the Beast, the Minecraft Pack, uh, version 8.1.0. Uh, I'm having difficulties upgrading my uh, uh, my Feed the Beast version. <coughs> I think the server's down, so I thought I'd do a a tutorial of what I've learned about the bees and some of the things that I do. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, some of the things that I've uh, I figured out in my uh, single player map. Some of the things that I've been experimenting with just now. Um, so uh, this tutorial is not for basic usage. It's more advanced. Um, I'm assuming you know how to breed the bees and what the frames do and how everything works. Um, just wanted to show this this design pretty much. Um, so we have the uh, apiary right here. If you look from this side, it looks really nice. Um, and what I got is for the bottom ones, it's a uh, wooden pipe with a auto arcade gate. I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It's the ones that automatically pull stuff out. Um, it's set to missing queen or princess with dude energy pulse. So that'll pull out the stuff. And then what happens is the uh, drones and princess and everything comes out goes into an uh, apiaris pipe uh, any bees go up anything goes down so uh, what these are actually pretty smart what they'll do is uh, it'll first first what comes out of here usually is drones or first you have your honeycomb then you have your drones and then your queen uh, usually like this coming around and they usually start here with them uh, pulling out in fact there's one that's going right now how lucky well, you see their tropical drone and tropical princess pulls the stuff the comb out of the center and then pulls the drones out so uh, what'll happen is it'll put a drone in first and as you see it comes around the other drone goes down and so does the uh, the comb and now we have a new queen uh, the uh, ooh, little lag there alright um, so the extra B and the comb come down here to this iron pipe, which forces them all this direction. And then it goes over to a chest over there. I'll show that in a minute. The reason I'm doing it this way is if you have uh, anything set to the red, which will make it go into this one, if there's not a uh, drone in here, and say this one, starts pulling stuff out the first drone will go up and then the second drone will come over and then go up in uh, and then the next time it breeds it'll be with that drone instead of your original drone this this is for um, maintaining uh, purebreds basically is what the system is for uh, if you're looking for that to have it you know mix them up um, I'll actually show you something in a minute for that. Something that I came up with. Uh, let's see. So that's the basic setup for these. And it goes into a chest. And you can see I'm getting lots of stuff, you know. Um, because these are all purebred bees, then the uh, drone stack. Um, if they're not purebreds then they won't stack together like these ones here are probably are mixed somehow 
Um, let's go over some of the uh, equipment here. All right, first off, you're probably going to need to create your MJs, your Michael Jacksons, whatever they say, however they say it. Uh, Minecraft jewels. I'm using uh, these electric engines, and they're increased by eight MJ total, so they're like ten MJ each. I got twenty of them. I think. 5, 10, 15, yeah, 20. So that's 200 Minecraft jewels coming into this uh, little array here. Um, of course, it's really easy to do this on creative mode. Uh, in my single player world, I'm not using electric, I'm using uh, the uh, biomass fuel. But uh, I think the first thing you'll need is a gene pool. Uh, what this does is you can put your extra bees in here and it converts it into liquid DNA which I have stored over here uh, these are uh, liquid tesseracts I'm not going to go into those that's not what this tutorial is about but that's what I have going on here I have these being pumped into the uh, liquid tesseracts goes over there uh, See, I have one here. These three get piped into that. It goes over there, fills up the tank. And then I have one... Uh, there, on a different frequency, pumping it into these three machines. And we'll get to those in a second. So yes, yeah, so this will be the first thing you'll probably want to get. Uh, the liquid DNA is very important for pretty much everything else. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, the next thing, I think it's this one, yes, the inoculator. Uh, what you can do with this is you can put your extra bees in here, like your drones. You get better results with your queen or your princesses, but you know you can't use those up unless you have you know a bunch of them. But what this does, along with these empty serum vials which are pretty hard to make. They take uh, royal jelly and uh, some gold to make these. And as you can see we have rock pollination serum, cave dwelling serum. Um, what you can do with these is you take them over to your synthesizer. We have a nocturnal one in here. This, this is what charges it up. But as it charges uh, it lowers the quality. Um, we'll grab another one of these. That'll work. We'll throw it in there, show you it working. And you see this little thing goes up and it fills it up. Uh, if you, you can use these and use those in this one, the inoculator. So you put this in here, and you put your bee, let me grab one, let me grab a forest princess here. So you put your forest princess in the top up here, and this runs, and eventually it will get nocturnal on it. Um, but because this is awful quality, you might get some unwanted side effects. Um, I believe I've done one, did one with awful quality, uh, and I got like meteor on it, and in my um, my let's play map, and it. Uh, pretty much destroyed my uh, base where I was doing the uh, the bees. Is the roof was all wood. All the wood caught on fire. Spread like crazy. Uh, but yeah, that's what you do with that. Uh, right. If you want to make the quality better, put it in a purifier. And these 
these use liquid DNA. So does the synthesizer. And eventually the quality of this will go up to excellent, which is the highest it can go. Then when you put it in to your inoculator, you won't have any side effects. Um, I don't know if there's still a chance, but so far I haven't got any uh, adverse side effects in my bees on my um, my Let's Play map. All right, uh, let's see. So we went to the synthesizer, the purifier. Oh, it's running out of power. What the heck's going on? Did I not set that up? This thing uses uh, a lot of MJs. Uh, yeah, it uses 100 MJs per tick. So I could actually put... Let me do that. Uh, this is how I find these things. MJ. Alright. Let me put another one here. And set it to 100 also. Okay. There we go. That's better. Um, this one uses 50. This guy uses 50. So th these these machines for keeping bees are not cheap to use. Um, Alright, so we have that going. This will... See, it's good quality now. This increases the quality, which you can make your bees. Uh, let's see, not the splicer. Uh, the replicator, what you can do is, let's say you want to make more of these. You can put that there. And get your vials. Uh, let's go ahead and grab I think they that's a stack for these guys 32 but uh, as you see this thing starts working 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 and it'll make a copy of this the copy will always be of off, awful quality I believe no matter what the quality of this one is um but yeah, so um, yeah, as soon as this one gets up to oh, there, excellent quality, we can throw this in here. And when this is done, this forest princess will have nocturnal, and then you can do that with the other ones as well. You know, you have uh, start it. Where is it? This one? No. The all the way down here. Um, you know, maybe you want to uh, have low fertil fertility because these bees only give like one. Maybe you only you don't want any extra bees. You just want um, what they produce. So you can give them low fertil fertility serum, doing the same process, and then that bee will uh, whatever's in here will only have one offspring. So it'll just be a princess and a drone, no extra drones. And then those can go back in there and get, you know, reset. Um, so, let's see, yeah. Oh no, I guess it is average quality. Okay, so I always thought that it was... The copies were awful, no matter what this was. Either way... Um, the synthesizer, as it's charging or adding charges, will make the quality awful. It brings down the quality as you're uh, adding charges to it. So it doesn't really matter what it is. It could be an excellent quality, but uh, by the time it gets through in the synthesizer, you're back down to awful. So you have to run it through the purifier anyway. <coughs> Um, let's see, the indexer, this is kind of cheaty, 
Um, I'm not sure if you can build it in, in the uh, uh, mine, the Feed the Beast Minecraft. Um, but I know the recipe is there. I don't know if it'll let you do it, but this thing will hold unlimited number of bees from what I read. And you can sort by species, type, no sorting. Um, pretty crazy. This is an acclimator scissor. Acclimator scissor. Um, see this uh, swamp cultivated hybrid is uh, damp. Well, that doesn't work in my area. Uh, my biome here is plains, so I pretty much need a normal normal, um, no matter what. And as you can see, it's a normal damp. And I don't know what to do. I know that you can put sand in it, and that's what I'm thinking changes it from damp, and eventually maybe it'll go to arid. But I don't know how long it takes. Let's go ahead and let that run for a while. Uh, let's see, we have a sequencer. If we need a template, so we'll have a. Oh, let's just grab the stack. Uh, okay, so we have our blank templates in the sequencer. And I believe we need 10 bees for this. So let's do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And throw those in there. Oh, I don't know if that's right. Put them there. There we go. One at a time. I think if you do have them all in here, all ten, it'll get rid of them all. And uh, it's, I think it's still a little glitched. But uh, eventually this will make a forest drone template and with that forest drone template you can take that template out and go to the oh where is it splicer um, the template goes down here template let's go ahead and do that forest template template there and let's say you want this marshy queen to become a forest oh you know what that says average quality I wonder if the purifier will take those two no no uh, I'm not sure how to bring up the quality on the these guys or if it even matters but I'm not an expert at this this is just what I know but uh, there's not a lot of information on the internet about this all this stuff and this is what I've learned so far uh, so yeah this marshy princess will eventually become a forest I'm gonna do that Oh, let's check on our... Um, still damp. Almost damp. So, uh, uh, and this might be broken. I still think I need to update the uh, extra B stuff. And Forest Princess. What? Oh, wait. It's in this part. Nocturnal. Yeah. Ta-da! Now it could take uh, more than one charge. These things are full at 16, so it took three charges to um, to actually make this bee have nocturnal. So just remember that that's what's going to happen. You know, it's not going to be. This runs through once, and boom, you have one. It may take more. I've had one take like six or seven 
uh, charges for one thing. Uh, these I was experimenting with how far they they will pollinate from. Uh, so far, it's pretty far. I had one growing over here at one point. This is another test of that, just to see how far it. As you can see, I haven't been doing this. I just made this uh, a little bit ago. I haven't started recording. I haven't been running this thing for, for days. Let me uh, toggle. Downfall. There we go. Let's get rid of the rain. Uh, back here, I just have this set up so that, uh, you know, we have pretty much every kind of flower available for every kind of bee that we have in here. We have water and forest and pretty much all the main ones. We don't have modest or um, the... Uh, I can't think of the name of it. Uh, oh, the wintry. We don't have modest or wintry in this uh, in any of these because we don't have those biomes. Um, that is pretty much all I know about these things. There is little settings on these, and I am not sure what they do. My guess is that you want any bee of forest as a primary or meadow as a secondary. Or it could be queen drone. And then you can have, you know, forest queen or meadows queen or common queen with any kind of um, drone. But this is just how I'm interpreting this uh, this setup I do not know and there's not a whole lot of information on them unless somebody can uh, send me a link in the disc or a, not a link in the description a link in a comment to uh, let me know and I'll update this with the second video um, this is what I've been doing for um, like breeding, like uh, crossbreeding. This is how uh, in this brand new um, you know creative world, I've done my uh, breeding of different types of bees. Uh, as you can see, what happens is these bees will get pulled out. They similar to over there, but they all go to a central apiary gate, and items will go blue, any bees will go black. And then what we have down here is a gold pipe, goes all the way underneath, all of them, and we have this little loop here. Now there's so many of them in there you can't really see what's going on but it's kind of like they're coming here going this way they'll bounce back this way come this way go back that way come down this way this way and they're just you know jump jumbling around and then eventually they'll go that direction and we have an iron pipe here so they bounce back if these if they can't go into these and we have an iron pipe here so they'll bounce back. So this is my little randomizationizing system for the bees. Um, yeah, right now we have a forest and a meadow. Now this is cultivated and modest. Cultivated common. Uh, swamp. Forest common. Um, 
not a lot of product, but that's not what this is for. This is to genetically engineer, uh, not genetically engineer, but genetically uh, randomize all of the stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I got. Um, I think it covered everything. Um, this is uh, a pretty nice setup for these. Um, you can have uh, everything hidden by the facades that go into the pipes. Uh, you know, you just have to have some area back here. Oops. Did not mean to do that. I'm used to um, being able to left click on stuff without it breaking. Uh, just show off my, my stuff. Give emphasis to you know, gesturing. Um, but this is what I got so far. Um, tell me uh, if I'm doing anything wrong in the comments or what I'm doing right in the comments. Uh, I like this setup here. This is uh, based off of what I've already come up with in my um, my Let's Play map. The only thing you gotta make sure is not to have uh, anything on top of the beehives. Yeah, sky obstructed and that goes all the way down this uh, this line here. But uh, as long as it's open on top, uh, I mean you can have this set up like this and you know have Oh, come on, why can't I? There we go. You know, have something placed over here. Like this. Something on the other side. Um, so the only... The only gap is this... Come on, fly. Is uh, right on top of the... Uh, apiaries then that's perfectly acceptable and they they do not care otherwise um, if you want something uh, like this where let's say they're you want them like inside a wall or something whatever you put in here needs to have cave oops so like the water queen here needs to have a um, cave on them, or the tropical or whatever. They need to have that cave ability. And you can do that by doing this setup here. Um, inoculating them with the cave serum. And great place to get the cave is from rocky drones because they're you know they have pretty much everything uh, what I did in my in my let's play world is uh, I did um, let's see I put in the isolators uh, the forest princesses or the forest uh, drones, rather, because, uh, oh no, it wasn't forced, it was the wintry, wintry, uh, drones. And the reason I did the wintry first is because they have maximum fertility. They'll give four offsprings. And what I did is I did that, put them in here, isolated eventually got the maximum fertility and charged it up and added that to my rocky uh, drones and rocky princesses. I just did two rocky drone and a rocky princess and then put them in 
one of these and started breeding uh, Rockies, Rocky drones. Uh, as you can see, there's no Rocky drones in here. I do have Rocky, um, Rocky queens and whatnot, but they have not been uh, given the extra drone, uh, the fertility um, serum. Um, oh, come on, fly. So that's it. I'm going to end the video here. Hope you like it. Um, let me know if I'm doing anything wrong and what I'm doing right. Um, let me know what you think of the video. And as I get more information and more understanding of the bees, I will uh, post more tutorial videos about them. So thanks for watching, um, and we'll see you later. Don't forget to check out my my uh, main Feed the Beast um, Let's Play series. Uh, so take it easy. We'll see you later. Sorry, I forgot to mention some of the other things you might need. You'll need one of these bee elizers. Um, right here. These are crafted in the um, in the uh, carpenter. So you'll need a carpenter and squeezer for the different frames, things like that. Get seed oil. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. It's about the bees. Um, so you need the bee lizer. Another useful thing is uh, this. It's the Apparatus database. This is a floor model, but they have a handheld as well. And uh, pretty much when you discover a new species from this, it automatically gets shown, uh, gets put in here. And this started with just forest mono, meadow, um, modest, tropical, wintry, marshy, rocky water. Uh, this started with the basic stuff when uh, before I set that up and so far it's doing pretty good it seems to be working um, now we know how to do a noble a diligent um, look at that river swamp uh, and then from this what you can do is you can go to the resulting mutations and now you know common, marshy, 10% of getting a swamp. Uh, water, common, 10% to get an ocean. Uh, river, water, common, 10%. Is that the same recipe? Yeah, same thing. So, um, with these, like the rocky, because there's no mutation to get a rocky because they're natural uh, it has r further mutations and so a rocky with a forest makes it common and it shows you the percent chance 15 percent and that can be increased um, with uh, soul frames these guys these are easy to make. It's a um, impregnated frame and um, soul sand. So they're easy to make, but these increase the chance of mutation. So if it says 15%, I think it's one and a half times. So half again as much. Uh, times 15 percent yeah so um, or like the 10 percent or whichever but uh, yeah this has lots of information I don't think there's really anything else you absolutely need 
to take care of bees. Uh, probably a centrifuge, but that's just to get the stuff out of the combs. Um, you do need honey drops for this to work, the beelizer. There's a standing model as well, just like there's a standing model for for this guy. Um, yes, so that is all. I'm going to end the video. Hopefully, um, I've covered everything. If there's any questions, leave some comments. Um, this is really cool. You don't get a lot of DNA from these bees. It takes a lot of bees. These used to be full. It takes a lot of bees to fill uh, fill these things up. So, uh, yeah. We'll uh, take it easy. I'll keep doing some research and eventually I'll come out with another video, hopefully, about this. So, take it easy. Peace.